Friday afternoon. Went out this morning at five o'clock. The easterly was cranking, it was pretty rough, so spent about an hour on sunrise. Didn't catch anything except for a handful of skippy. So still offshore this afternoon, just dropped a little bit. So me and my mate Lee, we banged out here. It's still blowing easterly, pretty strong, but not too bad. It's just slightly white capping. So we got a few baits in the water, just burly it up. All right, so here's our coordinates. Sun's going down and we're waiting. This is all I use. Half a muley, through the eyes, single 5-0 just pinned through the back there with a the hook exposed. 30 pound leader, knotted straight onto my 20 pound main line. Um, I use fluoro carbon. Sometimes I go down to 20 pound fluoro, sometimes down to 15 if they're real spooky, if I know they're there but they're spooky. But that's all I use. Just I'm weighted, just floating down the barely trail. Cast this out. So we're in about 18 metres now, so I try to do a cast that's about 18 metres. And then I slowly let that drift down. As this one's drifting down, this one's already sort of on the bottom. So I'll let that one drift a bit, then I'll wind this one up. Cast that one out, let that one drift. Wind this one up. So I've always got one drifting on its way down. I like them mid-water. Most of the fish come mid-water. So I like them always, always try to have at least one bait drifting on its way down and one near the bottom. Um, and here's the thing that makes all of this work. I'll, I'll get it off shayers. The barely pot. Um, I welded this one up about 20 years. I think this is the fourth boat I've used this burly pot on. I fill it up with old muleys, bits of bread, old chicken carcasses, lasagna, pasta, anything. Whatever you got, it's food, whack it in there, and then I'll just punch it in the, punch it up. And that just keeps a constant trail going all the time just drifts out and hopefully attracts all the big fish but today probably fucking not because I'm sucking ass lately what does it feel like? could be a snapper just give some head shape like a snapper it doesn't feel too big but oh come on no it's not there well, I lost it then Oh, oh no. what was that? So I got no hook. Must have bit me off. That sucks. Looks like some archers on the bottom of the sounder there. Let's hope we hook one up. Oh, oh what no. Was that? that was angry. Did that just snip you off? What Maybe there's that? a shark that hanging around. That was angry. Maybe there's a shark hanging around. Did you snip ya? No, just didn't hook up. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep, got one on. Oh, hopefully we can keep this one on. We've had two shots, Lee's dropped one. I dropped one before. Finally got a hit, about time. Oh, now it's getting angry. This one's a snapper. Can definitely tell by the head shakes. Oh, I've been putting in the time. I've been out. This is the fourth night this week I've been out. Now it's getting angry. Plus I was out this morning at sunset. I've been hitting up the inshore, my inshore spots, but they just haven't, haven't really been firing. There's a lot of skippy around, but the pinkies haven't been there. So tonight we come out onto the three mile in a bit deeper water in 18 meters. It's taken a while for the belly to get going, but 
seems like now finally we got a fish on. It's not huge, but it's not small. It'll be size, that's for sure. Snapper are normally pretty clean. I don't have much trouble with them busting me off. And I only fish 20 pound gear and 30 pound liters. I haven't had any trouble with them busting me off on the rocks before. They're normally pretty clean. Here he is. Can you get rid of the net, please? Got him! Yolty! Yeah. He's not too big, but he's right. Woo! Oh. oh my god. Here you go. Alright, go. Alright, cool. That's what we came out for. I was hoping for a slightly bigger one, but that's a start. That's a dinner for tomorrow night. Just shows you got to put in the hours. Like I said, I've been out four nights in a row, working hard, burling up. It doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's pretty rewarding. I'm pretty chuffed. I'm going to put this guy out of his misery and get another bait out because they're all over the sounder at the moment. It looks like we're about to get another few if we get a bait back in. Hey. So when these guys move in, they move in in plagues and they just strip every bait, snip off hooks, shred leaders. They're just a nightmare. Once these guys move in, I move off. So that's probably the end of our night out here. We got our fish, we got what we were looking for. So I'm happy with that. Boom. <laughs> this guy's got a bit of a headache. But it's all right, because I've got really no respect for these guys at all. I hate them. They do come in some pretty big sizes, but I'm really not a big fan of them. So he can go back in the water and swim off and do what he likes. I'm happy with that. We're going to head back in now. we got hamburgers waiting for us at home. Wife's just called us, so whew, that sounds good. No worries. If you like our stuff, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll get some bigger ones next time. You. Oh, 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 oh,